Assalamu alaikum. My brothers and sisters, nothing is worth being attached to besides Allah. Nothing is worth being attached to besides the one who made you, subhanallah. And obviously by extension, when he sent us messengers, yes, when he sent us his word, yes, we will be connected to those very strongly. Attachment is for Allah. The minute we get attached to that which is besides Allah, we lose focus and we become connected in a way that sometimes becomes toxic. For example, your wealth. For example, a person in your life, be it a child, be it a parent, be it a spouse, be it a sibling. Sometimes we get too attached to people or to things, your car, your handbag, your perfumes. When that happens, when Allah decides to take these things away, we cannot cope. Allah says, don't attach beyond the point. This is worldly. You have a child. Where was that child before you had the child? With Allah. Allah is going to decide when the child is going to go, either before you or after you or with you. You need to understand, accept it. It's okay. They've gone to a good place. Inshallah, trust Allah. Trust His mercy. Trust His kindness and goodness. But if we attach to things too much, the day someone damages our vehicle, we become depressed. The day we suffer loss of our business or loss perhaps in the stock of our business, be it through a fire or anything else, we become depressed or we become very sad. Some people actually cannot manage. No, we should be trusting Allah. We will have days of hardship no problem, bear patience. We will have days when we flourish. Alhamdulillah. Show gratitude, be thankful. That's what Allah has told us. So my brothers and sisters, this short video was only to tell us, don't be too attached to material items. You want to be attached, be attached to Allah. You want to be attached, be attached to the Quran. You want to be attached, be attached to the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, the beautiful teachings of goodness, kindness, modesty, development of your character, selflessness, and inshallah, that will help, that will help. Also, remember the hereafter, think about it, have hope in the mercy of Allah that you're going to go to a good place. When you've done wrong, seek the forgiveness of Allah, hoping that you are forgiven. And always understand shaitan's plot and plan make you hopeless, to make you helpless, to make you feel Allah is merciless. Not at all. He's the most merciful. May Allah bless every one of us and make it easy to endure, to go through the challenges, difficulties and the losses that we suffer in our lives.